Developing this morning, leaders of both Minnesota DFL and GOP are calling for the resignation of a state senator. And that's because a number of women have come forward saying that Cottage Grove DFL lawmaker Dan Schoen sexually harassed them. Mary McGuire is in our newsroom with more on this developing story. Mary. Good morning, Jason. Well, legislative leaders are calling these allegations disturbing and explosive. They also made it clear that they say that it makes it clear that no workplace, including Minnesota State Capitol, is immune to sexual harassment. Now, the nonprofit online newspaper MinPost first reported the sexual harassment allegations against Minnesota State Senator Dan Schoen. In that article, multiple women, including State Representative Aaron May Quaid, State Representative Jamie Becker Finn, and campaign consultant Lindsay Port told their stories. The allegations range from persistent texting and invitations to physically grabbing a woman from behind. On social media, Quaid says she is sharing her story now so we can stop having these stories in the future. She added that she's proud to stand with these women to end pervasive sexual harassment. Now, since those allegations were made public, both the chairman of the Minnesota DFL and the GOP have both called for Schoen to resign immediately. Senate DFL caucus leader Tom Bach calls the allegations sobering and disturbing. He goes on to say that Senator Schoen's actions, even with additional context, were inappropriate and do not meet the standards for behavior of a state legislator. Now, Schoen was first elected to the Minnesota House of Representatives in 2012 and is now serving his first term as a state senator. In addition to his work as a legislator, Schoen also works as a police officer. He is single, Jason, and has two children. What has the senator had to say about this, Mary? Well, this morning I've reached out to him to hear his side of the story. I'm still waiting to hear back. He did tell the Min Post he was aware of each one of the incidents noted in that article but later said that those allegations are either completely false or have been taken far out of context. He also told them that he has no plans to resign. All right, Mary McGuire, we'll follow this one today. Thank you.